Okay, so uh, very quickly, this is just going to be a quick run through of what you can expect from our breakout EDU class. Okay, this is gonna be a, a, a quick, I'm gonna try to run through this real quick. This is gonna be a breakout, okay? So what we do, we enter the room and we see these materials here. You can also look over here and there's some stuff on the floor. In the classroom, it'll probably be hanging on the wall. Uh, in this scenario, these would probably be hanging on the wall. So we're gonna walk up here, look at the table and Oh wow, here's a note. It says, howdy kids, this is my emergency box. Since I'm so scared of everything, I decided to capture you in my emergency box in case I need your help. You don't mind, do you? If you do not want to stay in my box, then try to find a clue to get out. Clue right in front of you is what it says. And it says, if you need a hint, take a hint card. So there'll be some hint cards that as a student you can all agree as a group and say, you know what, we need a hint. So you might take a hint card and say, okay, we need a hint, hand it to the teacher and they'll give you a hint. But you only have two hints, all right? The other thing is most of these breakouts are gonna be 45 minutes in length. So the clue's right in front of you. Well, you look at some of this stuff, there's a lot of confusing things. And uh, there's a, a large book here also, that, that's unusual. So we might eventually find that there's a clue in this book. So, all right, so what is this clue? It says, I am a form of matter. I do not change shape. An example of me is a rock. What am I? It also says, read what is on back. Hmm. So you might think about that. Read what's on back. Well, that's strange. There's nothing on the back. Very odd. So let's flip this back over. So a form of matter. I do not change shape. An example of me is a rock. Well, that would be an example of a solid, okay? Uh, a form of matter that does not change shape is a solid. So, hmm, that's interesting. We saw these pictures over here that seem to be examples of different forms of matter, okay? So the kids would have to, you guys would have to key in on this. And they got different numbers on it. And so you might eventually figure out that uh, different solids, ice cubes are a solid, the chair is a solid, and the pencil is a solid, right? And uh, you notice the ice cube has first, that has second, and that has third. That could be the combination to a three number lock. So nine, five, three. We have a three letter, three combination lock. So let's try that. Nine, five, three. Let's see if I can do this while I'm nine. Do this with one hand, 953. Oh, look at that, it opened it up. Awesome. So that's our first clue, bear with me while I, <clears throat> the camera angle goes weird while I open this. Okay, so we get this open. There's a piece of paper in here. There's also a UV light, okay. There's a UV light in here also. Well, let's set that to the side. Let's see what's on this paper. Okay. So, hmm, five letter key of some sort. And then there's a note here. It says, see here, what year was Paul Revere born? The large book you need is in this room. Hmm, well, that's very interesting. Five letter keys here. Uh, well, let's go with this, but hey, wait a minute. This UV light, this is something you need to know about in this class, is that a UV light will reveal hidden writing, okay? Because you remember this note, it says, read what's on back. Let's flip this over. Ah, look, there's hidden writing on this sheet. Black, yellow, blue, black, green, in number order. Well, you know what? These are color-coded. Black, yellow, blue, red, brown, green. Hmm, that corresponds to this. Well, not only that, we have this. See the answers here? All right, well, they correspond to letters. We happen to have a letter lock here, okay? And so 
what we have to do is add up the different sums of these sheets, okay? And if we do that, and we use this key that has letters, and we put them in this order, we do black first, black here, okay? And then yellow, blue, black and green. If we put them in that order, and we use this key, it spells, and the kids wrote it out on the back here. Uh, they wrote it on the back of one of these sheets. Maybe it was this one, yeah. It's because my kids ran through this and they had to have some help. It spells tilts. So if we go over here to our letter lock, there's a T, I, L, T S. Look at that. Tilts. Came off. Awesome. Now we only have two locks to go. All right. Directional lock and a four digit lock. Great. So we did that. And hmm, this other clue uh, the year Paul Revere was born. Well, you might find that in an encyclopedia or a dictionary. And in our room here, we have a bunch of encyclopedias. So if the kids were to walk over here, and I, I set this book out kind of sitting out amongst the others, and it's R for Revere. And look, there's a piece of paper in there too. So they might eventually figure out that they have to grab this. And hey, look, that's funny. There's an eyeball there. There's an eyeball there, another indicator. So what is this paper? Four letter key. What direction do you need? Hmm, direction, that could refer to a directional lock, right? But first, don't get too distracted. Let's see what year Paul Revere was born. So if we look here, Paul Revere, born in 1735. Now my kids, they did this and they just keyed in on 1818. That was when he died actually. And so I had to give him a hint. And it's like, no, what, was, what year was he born? 1735. Well, that's four digits, right? We happen to have a four digit lock. Let's just try that. What was that, 1735? So look at this. Now, just keep in mind, these go from top to bottom. When my kids did it, they, they got it reversed and went bottom to top, and I had to kind of help them out. So let's try 1735. Oh, look at that, awesome. We've got one lock to go, right? One lock to go and we've got one clue to go. We've got one more clue here. What direction do you need? Well, we've got some numbers here. And guess what, we haven't used this yet. So if we look at 92, there it is, in. What direction is in? Well, that's north, that's up. 62, look at that. What direction is that? South. That's down, right? So up, down, 25, east. That's right. Right as in the direction right. So up, down, right, 92 again, up. So up, down, right, up. Let's give that a shot. Now this lock can be a little tricky, so pay attention. To reset this lock, you have to click it down twice. So if you try a bunch of stuff, it doesn't work. You have to click it down two or more times to reset it. So what was that? Let's try that. So we've got up, down, is that it? Right, up. Look at that. And then you have to pull it a little bit to get it off. Awesome, we just broke it into our box. And let's open it up, see what's in here. Ooh. There's Scaredy Squirrel hiding out, and who knows, there might be some treats for the class. You never know. So anyway, that's just an example of the types of scenarios you're going to be facing uh, in this breakout class. Some of them may be a little harder than this. Um, we will adjust the difficulty for the older kids and adjust the difficulty for the younger kids. And we realize the younger kids may have to have some help with this stuff. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, just email us and let us know.